Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevSecOps project. Now, in today's video, we are going to talk about the Slack app. So we're going to install Slack app in this Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, so uh, before moving further, I would like to throw more light on Slack. What exactly is Slack? So uh, Slack is a messaging app designed specifically for the office, but also has been adopted for personal use. It was developed by Canadian software company Slack Technologies and now owned by Salesforce. Slack offers many IRC styles including persistent chat rooms which you can call as channels, organized by topic, private groups and direct messaging. In addition to these online communication features, Slack integrates with other software and in this course we are going to sl integrate Slack with Jenkins. All right. So if you want to uh, have more information about this, you can uh, go to a link. Let me show you something. Okay, so I'll just open Slack over here and type this Slack over here and you can see this first link go over here and you can see create teamwork starts with digital HQ. You can try it for free, go through the website, bring your team together at heart, this and this. You can go through all this. Okay, so these are the, uh, this is an official website slack.com. All right, so I'm going to do it for Linux. So that's why I'm not going to download from here. I'm going to directly go into our machine and let's go to the terminal. Okay. Okay, folks, if you are uh, new over here and seeing with for the first time, my name is Ravish and I create content for DevOps and cloud related stuff. This video is a part of DevSecOps project. Kindly follow the channel, subscribe to the channel and share this video because it really motivates me to create more content like this. All right. Okay, so we are in the terminal right now. So uh, there are a few steps that I've kept. So the first app is sudo apt update. So I'll just copy this, minimize this and put it over here and hit enter. Okay, so it's going to ask me the password. So os boxes dot o r g. Okay, so it's going to download the packages. It can take up to some time depending on the need. Sorry, depending on the internet speed. Let me uh, do sudo su because I want to root privileges, which is this. Perfect. Okay. So this was the first step. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just upgrade whatever I had over here. Okay. So I'll just do that. And it's saying that, do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. I want to upgrade it, hit enter, and then it's going to update. It can take up to some time because it might be the case in your in your case uh, the ubuntu would be like a bit old so it would download the packages so let it upgrade it over over, over here over, all right so uh, in the meantime uh, let's talk about slack so a uh, lot of things uh, are there in the market uh, who are in competition with slack just like uh, skype just like microsoft teams which is also a very good project uh, let me throw some light on the history of slack so slack began as an internal tool for steward butterfield's company Tiny spec during the development of Glitch. Okay, um, they were talking about uh, an online game, and Slack was launched to the public in August 2013. According to Butterfield, Slack is an acronym stands for Searchable Log of All Conversation and Knowledge. So did you know that Slack has a full form, Searchable Log of All Conversation and Knowledge, which he chose in 2012 to replace previous code name Line Feed. Slack was previously compatible with non-proprietary internal relay chat, which is also known as IRC and XMPP messaging protocols. But the company closed the corresponding gate in May 2018. On July 26, 2018, Atlassian announced the shutdown of its company HipChat and Stride, which was effective in February 11, 2019, and the sale of their, inter uh, sale of their intellectual property to Slack, with Slack to assume the user basis of the services. The company also announced a commitment to work on integration with Slack with Atlassian services. All right. And in 2019, Slack went public through a direct public offering to reach. And at that time, market value was around US dollar 19.5 billion. In July 2020, Slack acquired Remeto, a startup focused on direct uh, directory building, basically. This acquisition was to provide additional search offerings of employees within a Slack workspace. And I guess last year uh, on January 1st, 2021, Slack and Salesforce announced an agreement for Salesforce to acquire the company for a value of around 27.7 billion. The acquisition closed on July 21, 2021. All right. So this is a brief history about uh, 
what you gonna call as slack okay there are multiple features that slack offers uh, like persistent chat rooms organized by topic private groups and direct messaging content including files conversation and people it's all searchable within slack which you can see once this is downloaded and upgraded okay so users can add emoji buttons to their messages on which others can click to express their reactions to the message Slack's basically a free plan limits users to viewing and searching only the most recent 10,000 messages. So the version we are going to download, it would be the free free version basically, not the enterprise version. And, and in March 2020, Slack redesigned its platform to simplify and customize the user experience. And there are a lot of other features. So right now on my screen, you can see that the progress is 56%. I'm going to stop the video right here and fast forward it unless it's upgraded. Okay, so I can see that it is done over here. Let me just clear the screen. Okay, so the screen is now clear. Let's go to sudo apt-y install slack. Okay, I'll just copy this properly. Copy. Okay, this is not copied as a whole. I'll just type slack. Uh, let me ignore this. Hit enter. And then it's going to open a server, so just it packet this, reading database, this file's in directory is currently processing triggers, setting up Slack. So this is done over here. All right, so unpacking Slack, setting up processing triggers. So let's just see if we have Slack over here or not. It's not here right now. So let's go back and see what else that needs to be done. Now, this is one, a one way of installing slack in your system now there are multiple other ways because sometimes what happens is because of this uh, slack does not come into their operating system and if you go over here and try to find slack sometime it not comes over here okay so there is another way of doing it so this is second way go to your application ubuntu software and here we are going to see whether it exists or not okay so there are multiple applications available over here you can see slack team communication for 21st century so you can go through over here and click on that and it will be loading application details it can take up to some time and you can just click over here as simple as that so this is one another way there are multiple ways to do that let me just os boxes dot org hit enter and then it will start installing you can see that it has started installing let it happen there are multiple ways to do that and uh, if you go to Google and you'll, you'll search it, they'll tell you there is one another way through GUI, which I just showed you, one through the commands, which I just showed you. And there is one more thing like sudo snap install slack classic. There is one another way. Okay, so there are multiple ways to do that. So um, let it happen. You can see the size is 118 MB, which is download size, and it can take up to some time. So I'll just fast forward the video and see what happens. Also, if you're not able to find the option for Slack, this search option or search button, you can click on that, type Slack, and you would be able to find the Slack application and do the installation, all right? Okay, so as you can see on my screen, now it's asking for the permissions. Click on that and you can check this play audio, record audio, and all the conditions that you want to check, uncheck, you can just click, click over here, and you just have to give the password, osboxes.org. And you can change it okay but i wanted to use my camera so i can just click this read write files and removable storage of or storage devices you can select this whatever you want okay so let me just close this okay now i'll go over here type slack and you can see that slack has appeared over here and i've clicked on it as an application and then it'll come let me just minimize this i don't need this so you can see this over here now all I have to do is sign into Slack. And if is this your team new to Slack, you can create a new workspace, okay? You can do that. Let me just sign into Slack. So as it is open over here, and then you can just sign in with using Google if you're a new account. So I'll just click over here and it'll ask for the email ID and the password. I'll just create logic ops lab. I think this is my email ID. Hit enter and then give the password. So I'll just give the password. So 
So I've entered the password. It's going to check whether my password is correct or not. So I have to approve it. I'll just stick out my phone. Uh, let me just check it. And I'm going to approve it from my phone. So it has been approved. And you can see that it has signed into Slack. Okay. So let it happen. It can take up to some time. Now it's redirecting. Always allow open link and let it happen. And you can see that it has opened. Now, if you are a follower for this channel uh, since quite a long, long time, you can see that a long time back, I created this Jenkins build status and there would be multiple messages over here. You can create and add teammates from here and then send messages to them. You can add the channels. I'll show you, create a new channel, test channel, over here, description, test, anything like that. And you can make it private or make it public. Anyone can find it. You can even share it outside, okay? And if you want to add people over here, add here. And you can put the message over here. Uh, I'll just type hi. And as I told you that we could type emojis over here, I can just type, I'm looking for something, hit enter. And this is how you can do it. So this is uh, one feature uh, Slack. We are going to integrate uh, our application, our DevSecOps project with this Slack. So I hope uh, you guys have understood it. And if there is anything, feel free to comment below. And if you're new over here, kindly subscribe to the channel because it's really motivates me to create more content like this. All right. So, uh, if there is anything, feel free to comment below and we will address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.